Hey guys, myself Rakesh and I welcome you back to Expo Hope channel. Today we are going to learn a very important term called session zero. So what is this session zero? And there is a clear cut statement which says, please note that a background process runs in session zero when started from orchestrator on an unattended robot. So what is this we need to understand. Now for that to make it quite easy, I have created a small slide which is going to help you to understand. So look at this. When you turn on your PC, so what happens? You have seen your laptop would boot, right? It will boot and then finally it will stay at this uh, prompt to select the user to log in, right? If there are multiple users on the same laptop or desktop, multiple user accounts got created, then it will show you those prompt to select which user account you would like to use and you click on that and you log in, right? So what happens during startup? When you power on your PC during startup, a Windows session is created for the system processes to run, which are not related to specific user. And this is called session zero. That means when you are starting up your PC, this is not specific to any user yet. It is going to run all kind of Windows or the system processes will run during that time. Okay, only these system processes will stay active so that the operating system is on and it shows the required user accounts and it all the drivers, all the you know your mouse starts working, your keyboard is supposed to work. So all the processes that is required, right, for the Windows to operate, that is known as session zero. Okay, when you power on. Now there is something called session one. So what happens? Let's say you have got multiple user accounts. And you click on one of the user account. So what would happen? The first user account which you logged in, that would become session one. Let's say after some time you logged your computer and somebody else switched the user and logged into some other user account. But your user account is still running in the back end. But some other other person is run, using his account right now. So that becomes session two. So similar way, this is a Windows, Microsoft Windows way of creating a required sessions for the kind of activities happening on the laptop. So when a user logs on to that machine, a new session is created called user session in which user specific services will run. Understood. So once you have these two points clear, what is session zero and what is session one? Once you have a clear cut idea, let me take you to the documentation of background process and I'm going to explain a few important aspects okay so let's go to the background process automation and here i'm going to talk about very very important aspects okay and make a note so you should write it down when i'm highlighting those points you must write it down okay so look at this during a startup a window session is created for the system process to run which are not related to specific user this is called session zero during startup so this we have understood this session allows windows to run system processes needed for the machine itself so this is clear when a user logs on to that machine a new session is created called user session in which user specific services will run okay so this this pointer should be properly noted down what is session zero and there are two sessions one is session zero and the user session okay so now i'm going to highlight another point Using background process offers a different behavior when they are run in the attended versus unattended automations. So background process started from an attended robot. So if you start a background process from an attended robot, that means you are manually starting it, right? If you are manually starting this, attended robot run in the user session 1. So this user session is also known as session 1, session 2, session 3, depending on the number of users has logged into that laptop or the PC. You can have multiple user accounts, right? Background processes started from an attended robot run in the user session one, while the one started from unattended robot runs in Windows session. Getting it? So this are the this is the very important point. Attended robot, make a note of this. Okay, attended robot run in 
session 1 wherein the unattended robot will run in session 0. This is a very important point. Okay. All right. Now, let me highlight few more important points that you should know. Now, how does the attended robot behave when it is running in session 1? Okay. Background process automation with attended robots rely on user sessions on the machine to run automations. This, these are started from studio or UiPath assistant and run in the window session as the user. Let's say I am the user. So the attended automation generally start, starts from UiPath assistant. So if I'm if I start a process from uh, UiPath assistant, this is the UiPath assistant, right? Then that becomes a attended way of running it or if you are running it from the studio. So if I run it directly from the studio, even this becomes an attended way of running a process. Okay. All right. And this would run in the user session because wherever I have logged into my PC, right? Based on my uh, PC login, it's going to work. So I have got access to files, folders. So it is going to use all of that with my permission, right? With the user permission because I have already logged into the user session. So this is clear. As the automation happens in the same session, the robot is able to retrieve information and access files that are specific to the user. So this is very important point. So this section you should make a note. Important point. Okay. Now the now the question is Rakesh, window session zero, right? The session zero. The session zero does not have any access to files because if you look at let's read this. Let's read this unattended robot. Background process automation with unattended robots are started by the robot services and run in window session zero. Correct. It is important to know that session zero has no user interface. The session zero does not have any kind of a user interface. It's just, you know, the moment it boot, you turn on the PC, it just went on to the login screen. But again, it does not have any user interface. It cannot access any files and cannot interact with user session. When using this type, so how does it work? When using this type of processes on unattended robot, keep in mind that they run in the name of the user and they inherit the permissions. So let me show you in the UiPath Studio. If you go to UiPath Studio and hit on tenant, okay, and then hit on robots, there you would find there are two things. You have something called user session. When you run any kind of an attended bot, here you would find user session. Okay, this is the attended bot. Now, okay, so user session. The user session means it is going to run in the attended way. Now, here I have unattended session. That means anytime you are starting a process directly from the UiPath orchestrator, so this would run in the unattended way. Okay, user session and unattended sessions. So remember this, this is very uh, important uh, conceptual point that you should understand properly. Using this type of process on unattended robot, keep in mind they run in the name of the user and they inherit the permission. So generally, you, if you remember, while creating unattended robots on orchestrator, we enter the username and password. We enter who am I and then enter the Windows credentials, right? So using those credentials it gain access it inherits its permissions of the user make sure that the user under which the process runs has access to the needed resources let's say you are you need to access a file so ensure that user has access to those files does not require any type of user interface and ensure that does not require any kind of a user interface just access to the file is required Okay, so this is an important point and also they have given a note here when running background automation by unattended robots using Microsoft Office applications such as Word, Excel or PowerPoint might not work properly. If you are doing an unattended way, if you are running it through an unattended way, then it may, may not work. But if you run those background processes through the attended robot, if you started in the user session, it is going to work. Okay, um, been built on or run in user session. So all those applications are built by Microsoft to work properly as they have been built to run in the user session, meaning that they need an interactive desktop session and the user profile to work. Okay, so this point is important. 
for additional information on how to so this you can so this is this point is important okay so while you are doing any kind of a automation do not try to uh, initiate that process uh, let's say background excel automation you want to do so do not try to initiate the process directly from the orchestrator rather try to log into your user your pc and run it from the uipath assistant so excel background automation so that can automatically work in the user system so there is a note given okay so there is a very important note that while working on unattended robots be careful that should not be a excel uh, or the microsoft office application related automation then it won't work so these are the various important points that i've covered in this video i hope you have made a note i understand these are very theoretical uh, and points but again uh, these things appears in your exam so you need to answer it properly only if you have made a note of all these points and have understood okay so thank you guys i hope this um, video should be helpful for you to understand um, the topic i would like to cover uh, and we are going to meet again in our next uh, content take care bye bye